the website OnlyFans, which primarily features nude women and sexually explicit scenes, is making a major change. Starting in October, OnlyFans won't be quite as much X-rated. The change will not make it family-friendly, not by a long shot. Nudity will still be allowed. What will change is the sexually explicit content. That will no longer be permitted. It all has to do with money. The company says the move is taking place to comply with the requests of its banking partners and payout providers. It's estimated more than 130 million people use OnlyFans. That's correspondent Steve Futterman. So, speaking broadly, should websites like OnlyFans or sites like them, however you view them as a service, innocent or not, have a place in society? We're going to start with Matt Napolitano, 30 seconds. You know, it weirdly became a, a line of work for a few people during the pandemic, you know, just something to bring in any form of money. You know what? If... If it works for you and there's people that are subscribing and it's within any kind of legal grounds, you know what? Go for it at this point. I mean, there's worse things on the Internet. You let it just happen. You know, I, I don't understand, like, why the banking partners are suddenly like, yeah, we can't let this fly. Did you see how much <laughs> money the OnlyFans is raking in? I feel like whatever you're doing, keep on doing it, guys. Like, on the sa- on that same note, though, you know, got to feel bad for those, uh, you know, the, ca- the cam folks out there that are working with certain per- porn operators, I guess. You know, hmm, sad. Uh, Roman, your 30-second argument. I mean, if you can't make a business model of porn work, then nothing else is going to work. Because I know lately <laughs> I've been seeing these ads for OnlyFans that say, hey, start an account and show people your cooking skills. Show people how good you paint. And I'm like, unless you're hot and butt naked doing those things, no one's going to care. So I think OnlyFans is going to become a lonely fans because people, uh, that's how it got popular, you know. So, um, and, and like I said, some people, that's how they make their living. So, you know what? Th- these people are just going to go to other sites and OnlyFans will just drop. So, uh, Cisco, your 30 second argument. Well, well, listen, I mean, you know, strip clubs have been around for years and now it's kind of evolved where you don't have to go there to see the action. You can do it all from the comfort of your your phone. Um, so, uh, you know, I think they uh, uh, I mean, I think the model works. I I. I I disagree. If I'm running OnlyFans, that's kind of what their model has evolved in. If, if anything, they should steer towards doing more of it and not try to do the, the cooking or the cleaning or any of that. Um, they've, they've raked it in. They've, they've kind of hit a jackpot. Um, so. What do you guys think about a KTSA OnlyFans uh, page? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's brilliant. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Know, pictures walking Start through the hallway. Start with Sean. Open my mouth. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alex, what scores do you want to give? Zero to 20. Zero to twenty. Oh, uh, I'm gonna give sixteen across the board. Okay. Because they all kind of nice. pretty much said the same idea. This is Master Debaters, the show where the best argument wins. From 550 KTSa and FM 1071.